Welcome to another episode of Saturday Selections with Punting Pavo. Oh gee, I'm looking forward to tipping some winners this week, I tell you what. I'm looking at the Flemington meeting and first off I'm going to kick us off with the winner in race four, number two, Perturbo. I reckon this dude has come back flying. First up, he finished six and a half lengths behind the mighty black carrier. And last start, he went tailed by an absolute whisker to double any. Look, he is good enough to win this race. His third up record, four starts for two wins, 1,000 metre record, one win, which was at this track. I like him. And now it's time for Pano's Puffer. And it's in race six, number 12, Dabu. I made this like my puffer a few weeks ago. He finished unplaced in that race behind Kurtana, but look, he wasn't a bad run. His six comes to flying home behind Midnight Martini, and I have a feeling he'll like racing down the Flemington Strait, and he'll be finishing strong. Look, $126 is available, and that is definitely, definitely worth a go. $126? Gee. And now it's time for our favourite Queenslander, Kay! He's a good bloke, he's a Queenslander, and his name is Keith, oh yes! G'day Pato, well straight break day, it's our ultimate showpiece up here in Brisbane. Good race too, good betting race. Not easy by any stretch of the imagination, a final win here. Look, my favourite mare's going around and beat it and she'll give 120%, but I'm, I'm going to tip against her here. I think she'll be thereabouts, don't get me wrong. I would knock her for a second, but I'm going to tip thank God you're here. I reckon it's had a great preparation, Pato, for this. Like a few of them have, there's no doubt about that. Drops massively in weight from the Doom of 1350, gets the four down of the Eagle Farm, which will suit it down to the ground. One at 1400, third up last time, and then one at the mile, fourth up last time in. <coughs> Excuse me, this time it's 1400 metres, fourth up. Big drop in weight, Rod Quinn knows it intimately, and the big plus the barrier draw, excellent draw. Should be able to settle where it likes here in this field, where a lot of them are. A lot of them have been dictated to by the barriers, how they're going to have to be ridden, whereas this one can be ridden where it's comfortable. Big plus for me, and about ten dollars about this as well. And then the last one, team on a horse called Skilled for Snowden and Darley. Drawn awkwardly, but McAvoy should just ride this like a good thing from that alley because it is a good thing in this. It's had three goes at the mile. Two of them were in the clockwise direction, the Sydney way of going, which it gets here, and they were both at group one level for a win and a second. Uh, gee, that's pretty good for a group two. Uh, Queensland Guineas I feel last start it dropped out the stone marvellous last and McAvoy didn't knock it around just worked well on strongly and the Snowden Yard decided to go with the Guineas over the Stradbroke and they're betting nine dollars about this as well so two nice bets there for me I think at those sort of odds uh, look boys I won't be there, here for the show next week uh, unfortunately I'll be in Sydney well for, unfortunately I'll be able to do the show but I will be in Sydney for the state of origin so I won't be able to send in uh, some mail boys but you have a good show and have a good time on the pun eh all right. Oh, mate, mate. <laughs> oh, see. Have a great time in Sydney, mate. Enjoy the state of origin, mate. Hope you're back a few winners on the weekend, mate. <laughs> See you in a couple of weeks. Oh, yeah. oh, he's a good bloke, isn't he? And now it's time for our other dude. Get there! It's time to get his sick man on the party battle show. It's time for Cassie's Take Man's on the Pumping Battle Show. Hey guys, how are you this week? Well, a little bit of luck when we go Australia and we'll try and find some this week. Uh, Flemington Race 8, sticking again with Euphoric Realm and Froggy Newton. Battled on alright last start in open class and look, it's back to the 89 Raiders. Uh, the white drawer will probably go forward and the 1700 shouldn't be a drama and look, I'll be back in it again, that's for sure. And then we again wait till race eight at Eagle Farm and Benny's Buttons. Thing was a good run last start. It won the Bay Road last prep. First up, it just sort of went round uh, behind Ready to Rip. Second up, it was pretty close behind the Gold Coast. Well, in the Gold Coast, getting behind Military Rose. 
throw it up. It was close again in the Fred Best. And like I said, last start, I only, I only got beaten a head or a neck or something and uh, railed up and nearly nearly got the money. Mutsy sticks with it and look, uh, I know it's a hard race, but I'll be giving him a hope and uh, I know one Benny will be happy if it gets the Beckys. That's me this week, guys. All the best. Cheers. <laughs> Good sisters, they are good sisters and they're good blokes too. Anyway, I hope you have a great weekend and happy party!